Today we are working on Tiny, and he's a five-year-old St. Bernard and Bernese Mountain Dog mix. This is Tiny's first professional grooming appointment, and he was, let's just say, a little bit stubborn. Um, who named you Tiny? Were they trying to be funny? To say that Tiny is shedding would be a serious understatement. He has never been professionally groomed, and my experience with St. Bernard's in general, he is a Bernese St. Bernard mix, but St. Bernard's are usually very, or even Bernese, I should say, timid and nervous. So for a five-year-old dog that's never been to a professional groomer before, this might be a little bit challenging. Obviously, he is huge. I don't have help today. So let's see if we can get this small pony groomed. The owner said that he's pretty good for baths, but he is scared of the blow dryer. So. We shall see, Mr. Tiny. Good boy. So we're doing Nasty Critter first because he absolutely reeks like most dogs of his breed. Oh, I, I know you don't like it, but I got definitely got to wash your face. Like for sure I got to wash your face. The reason why he stinks is for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, when you have a dog this size, you're not regularly bathing them at home because they're so big and especially if you live in Canada where it's cold in the winter, and they drool. So the drool sits on their coat, on their bib, and it starts to stink really badly like wet dog. So it's pretty common for them to be a bit stinky. I'm just looking at his back legs here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I definitely don't like the way that they look. I bet you they either cause some mobility issues or they will, unfortunately. Poor boy. Okay, bathing your face is gonna be interesting. Come here. Good boy. You're gonna need a lot of soap, my dude. I can't wait to get all of his shedding hair out of him. He's going to look and feel like a totally new dog. I love it when people bring dogs that have never been professionally groomed before because the outcome is always so amazing and the owners are always so shocked by how incredible their dogs look and feel and smell. Um, you have some matted pee pee hair. That's really gross. Come here. Okay, I'm going to scrub this in and then I'm going to give him some de-shedding. You cannot exit. You have some burrs in your tail. Those are gonna be fun to get out. You already smell so much better. Okay, now we're gonna do de-shedding and then we will do a rinse. I really don't like having your chest done, but I regret to inform you that that's the most important part. Okay, so I noticed that he really does not like having his face, like I don't, he doesn't like having the water in his face. So I took the nozzle off in the hopes that this would make him relax a little bit more for the water. Maybe not, it was worth a shot. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry, but I mean, your face needs to be washed. I am completely soaked right now. People always ask me where I get my waterproof onesie. It is not waterproof. It is hair proof. The hair is not going to stick to it, which is fantastic. Waterproof, it is not. I am soaked. Come here, you have to have this washed. Your noggin stinks. Okay, well, you're not gonna like this part, but I mean, I have to rinse you. If you would let me hold your head, I could make sure that no water goes down your ears. Nah. Now, why would we do that, right? Wow, okay, 
I just had a full-on shower. Fantastic. <sighs> At this point, I might as well just invest in a wetsuit. That would make more sense. If you've never worn a wetsuit before, you wouldn't know that they're incredibly warm and I would be sweating my butt off. The St. Bernard was a snow dog, so a search and rescue dog, because they would dig through avalanches to recover people. You're so cute. You a happy dog? Yes, you're very happy. Um, can we not squish me into the corner? Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's attempt to try to get you onto the table. This is gonna be funny. Oh, wow. Okay, I wasn't, no, don't even think about it. So my only concern with Mr. Dude here on my table is that he is going to try to jump down and he is either A, going to bring the table with him or he's going to break my bar, which trust me when I tell you has happened more than one time in the grooming salon where they literally bend the entire stainless steel bar to try and get off the table. It's not a good time. So, yeah, like, I, I mean, I... Oh, really? Okay, well. Hey. I'm gonna let you off the table because this isn't gonna go well. The owner told me he's scared of the blow dryer, so the last thing I want is to turn on the blow dryer and then have a flying St. Bernard. So. We're not doing that today. So instead of having a flying St. Bernard, as fun as that sounds, I'm gonna let him run around and I'm gonna chase him with a blow dryer. And that's gonna be my cardio for today, right? Yeah, you're a crazy man. Yeah, we don't need any broken tables today or bones for that matter. I don't know if you're gonna let me put the happy hoodie on you, but we're gonna try. Oh, what a good boy letting me do that. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that he is really nervous about the dryer. It's not so much the dryer itself as it is the air touching his front legs or his face and chest. Um, I definitely think I'm gonna have a really difficult time trying to get his paws done. And I'm not sure that it will even be doable because he is massive and very strong. So I think I'm gonna try to put him in the crate dryer. I do have a crate large enough for him. 
see if he'll go in it. Um, hopefully that will help to dry up his head and chest and front legs area, and then I can complete the rest of his blow dry on the rest of his body. Don't ask me how, but I managed to get him into the crate dryer. He actually went in willingly, so he must be crate trained. And I'm gonna let him dry in here a little bit because I think this would be a little bit less stressful for him. And then I'll finish his dry after about 15 to 20 minutes. So Tiny is about 90% dry. I tried to finish off his chest and his legs and he just was not having it. So I'm not going to bother continuing to put him through it. He has some mats behind his ears that I'd like to shave out. Stay, Tiny, Tiny, stay. Okay, I know, I know, but there you, you got big mats. It's definitely not the easiest to groom. I think mostly just because he's not used to any of this. Come here, buddy. This is definitely a challenge. Come here, no. This is not the way I like to do things. But I can't put him on a table because he tries to take it down, so. This is the best I can do. Stay here. Sit. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna brush. Can you let me brush you? Good boy. You have a lot of shedding hair in here. Boy, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. Why? Why don't you like having your neck? chest or legs even touched. I thought it was just the blow dryer, but it's posing to be literally everything is a problem in this area. Which is probably why you have a lot of matting and compacted hair, because something tells me that you're not easy to do at home either. Good boy. No, no, you gotta stay here. Boy, boy. Oh, buddy, why is everything the end of the world? I'm gonna attempt to do some shaving in his groin. He has a lot of matting in there, but boy, does he like to give me trouble. Come here. Come here. And by trouble, I mean just using his size and weight to stop me from doing pretty much anything. Come on, let's go. You gotta get out of the shower. I don't know, what is your obsession with the shower? Stay, okay, stay. I feel like your paws are gonna be a no-go, mister. Okay, no, you can't run into the shower, all right? No. It's okay. This would be easier to brush if I was able to fully dry it. It's unfortunately still wet um, because he just, he just won't let me. He just keeps moving and running away as fast as he possibly can and then when he really doesn't like something, he just lays down and then I just can't get to it at all. I'm gonna try to get the matting out at least. I don't really care what it looks like, considering this is his first groom and he's nervous. We're just gonna do what we can. As long as you're clean and you don't have mats, I'm happy, okay? I'm gonna look at your nails when I'm done, but I don't know that that's even going to be remotely possible. No, no. He has a big giant matted burr in his tail that I'm just gonna shave out. Might not look fantastic, but I don't think there's any way I was gonna be able to brush that out. With him letting me anyways. If he was a little bit more relaxed, I probably could brush it out. 
Will you let me touch your paws? Okay, back nails are fairly short. Okay, even the front nails are, they could be clipped a little bit, but they don't look bad at all. So that's good to know. I'm gonna try to do his paws first then. Come on. Stay here. Stay here. Nope, stay here. Good boy. Very good boy. Good boy. If you lay down, this will be even easier when I go to do your back ones. Good boy, Tiny. We're not going back in the shower, please. Good boy. Good boy. One more. Wow. I did not expect that to be that easy. Come here. Hey, come here. Come on. Tiny, come here. Come here. Did you enjoy your bath that much that you just want to stay in there? Want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Come on, let's go for a walk. Okay, now you come. Okay, stay here. Yeah, apparently he doesn't like scissors. That's what the owner said. As soon as he sees the scissors, he freaks out. What the? Why are you so very strange? Stay here. Keep in mind, guys, he's never been to a professional groomer. So why the heck does he freak out when he sees scissors? It's a bit odd. Good boy. Good boy. I was definitely expecting it to be more difficult to shave his paw pads than to trim them with scissors. You're a funny guy, Tiny. Well, now you're gonna hide your other two paws from me, are ya? So this is definitely going to be the most <laughs> half done groom, I'm gonna put it in a nicer term, that I've probably ever done. Okay, okay, relax, relax. I feel like he's had some trauma related to his paws and I, I don't know what that is because the owner didn't seem to know what it was either or why he didn't like scissors near his paws. So his paws are not done to the best of my ability. Can I comb your ears? I just wanna comb them. I just wanna comb your ears. Let's try and then that's it, I'm done with you. You big suck. What a baby. Stay. Good boy. No, no. Oh, God. Okay. No, can't do it. It's too much. It's too stressful for you. Good boy. Very good boy. Very good boy. Boy. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's the end of the world. Stay here, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Oh, you're such a baby. You're such a baby, you're a big baby. Sit. Good boy, you wanna sniff it? Good boy, good boy. We are not going outside today because it's an absolute mud pit. It snowed and then all the snow melted. So there's no way I'm letting him back there to get full of mud before he goes home. This was a little bit of a challenging groom even though he was a really good boy. I understand this is his first appointment and he's nervous. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again in a few days. And now Tiny is gonna go for a walk. You gonna go for a walk?
You could go for a walk. Good boy.